one of the awesome new features in the new Team Foundation Server 2013 preview is the Agile Portfolio Management Tools. So let's have a walk around the new features. If you open up your team project in the web access and go to view the backlog, you'll see the standard interface that you had in 2010. But above backlog, I've got this features role. Features are a parent of backlog, and features get their own backlog and board at that particular level. So you can reorder items in this backlog just by dragging and dropping, just like you can for the, the product backlog items. Um, you can also go to your Kanban board, customize the columns, just like you can for your, for your backlog board. If I go back to uh, features, and I can open a feature, and when I've got a feature open, I actually get an implementation tab here and I can see the backlog items that make up this uh, uh, particular feature. I can add new items just by uh, clicking the new item button and I can pick uh, backlog item and create new backlog items from there. Not only that, but I can just link to something I know the, the ID of, no problem at all. In order to give you some situational perspective or situational awareness, of the items that you have in your backlog, the product team have kind of created this idea called views. These views allow you to look up or look down from your current position. Um, we're at the top of the tree in features, so we can only look down. But let me click on the little views icon and I can flip down to backlog items. Now we're looking at the features backlog still, but we're looking down from features to backlog items, so we get this kind of tree view. I've lost the ability to uh, uh, drag and drop items vertically because it's, it's a tree now and that would be a bit weird. Um, but it gives me this view on how these items were broken down. Not only that, but I can click on backlog items and look all the way down to tasks and see how my feature is broken down to PBIs and then broken down into individual tasks. And you can see that here. Let me reset that back to features. Now I can reorder again. If I go to my backlog board, and I'm now potentially a, a product owner, uh, looking at my own backlog, I might be interested in uh, the priorities of features, or looking at uh, what's going on with my features above uh, the idea of backlog. So now I'm at a mid-level, I can click on backlog items, and I can look up to features. So I click look up, there we go, and now I'm still on the backlog board, but I'm looking up at the features that are available in the breakdown there. I can also flip that over to look down at tasks, but because we're on the backlog board, we don't get features all the way down to tasks. We get backlog items down to tasks. Again, it's set at whatever level you're at, and you're looking uh, down at lower level items. Let me reset that. Now we can customize this and add additional hierarchy uh, to our, our items. Here we've got features. We might want to add an item above this called goals. In order to do that, you need to, um, there's some XML editing to do, uh, loading into TFS to achieve that. So now I've added um, goal. Let me refresh this. So after I fix my caching issue, you can see that I have the goals. Um, backlog there, and if I open up the goals backlog, I, I currently have no goals, um, but if I do um, create TFS pluggable um, v1, that's, that's a terrible goal, but that's what I'm uh, going to create just now, and then I can link that to features. Unfortunately, the easiest way to do this is to know that this is goal 36 and to go into features and add as a link in here let me add as a child oh no as a parent 36 there we go and now I have uh, the goal associated so I can go all the way up to goals and I can click on my goals tab and you can see now on my tab I have goals, features, backlog items and tasks. I can look down at uh, features, so there's just the features that are associated, all the way down to backlog items and then even further down into task. Now something I did was um, my goal, 
I did not add a custom color, so it's just defaulted to the, the backlog color, which is uh, blue, but I can add a custom color in there as well. You can find out how to do that on my blog and how to make this customization uh, here.